On to Christmas angelic announcements. We've kind of been doing the angel theme, and we're going to keep going through probably at least January into February with the whole angel shtick. We're just going to go with the Christmas angels here in December for obvious reasons. And when we hit January, it's going to be more angels and demons. What's the difference? What could they do? So it's kind of a fun study. I haven't done that one in, I think it was 18 years. So I guess we're due. It'll be fun. All right, this is John the Baptist, angelic announcement, true or false? Elizabeth couldn't have children because she was hiding a sin. Hmm. Well, we'll talk about that. Two, children are a nuisance. Who said said yes? It wasn't me. My children kind of look at me. like I think children are wonderful. All of them. John the Baptist and Jesus were cousins. They were some kind of relation. I'm not sure if his second cousin once removed or somebody's roommate, but they're related somehow. Okay. Four, John the Baptist made people ready for the Messiah through a weight loss program. Yes. When when we say prepare for Christmas, we're not talking about cutting out carbs. And I'm not going to give you dietary advice. This is more of a spiritual matter. All right, let's jump into it. Proud parents often share their joy by sending birth announcements to family and friends. It's notable that on occasion, God too has sent birth announcements. They have not been the standard card giving name, birth, date, weight, and length. They have rather been personal messengers and often have been sent not after, but before the child's birth. Yes, even before the child's conception in this case. Why was Zechariah in the temple? What is he doing in Luke chapter 1? Once, when Zechariah's division was on duty and he was serving as priest before God, he was chosen by lot according to the custom of the priesthood to go into the temple of the Lord and burn incense. That's what you did. And um, they said if you do the math and how many priests there were and the lots and all the options, usually two or three times in your lifetime. You'd be picked to go into the temple and do this. So it's kind of cool. And God, of course, has this all worked out. So while he's in there, well, yeah, he sees an angel. Does God always answer prayer? Luke 1. Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son. And you are to give him the name John. Yeah. So God was listening to their prayer. So She's well past the age of childbearing, and so is he. How long were they praying for a son? Decades? It didn't happen? At any point in there, did they think God's not listening? Maybe. Sometimes, so the three answers you can get from God when you say a prayer are yes, no, and wait or not yet. The problem with wait and no is that they sound the same. So sometimes you can wait for quite a while. You don't know if God's going to answer that prayer or how He will. But God does hear your prayers. Always. Four, what is a Nazarite? Luke 1. He will be a joy and delight to you, and many will rejoice because of His birth, for He will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even from birth. Yeah, are you familiar with the Nazarite vow? Some people think the Apostle Paul took one before he shaved his head as you read the book of Acts when he comes back for one of the feasts. They weren't supposed to touch dead bodies. Samson was another famous one. His deal was the hair. Um, Yeah, there's different things associated with this Nazarite vow. It's relatively common, but sometimes God front loads it with a little bit more. Like here, he's a Nazarite from birth is John the Baptist. Um, Filled with the Spirit. What do you know about John the Baptist? And I don't remember if we actually... I think we're going to get that next week as we get to that greeting from the angel that comes to Mary. Uh, But filled with the Spirit even from birth. Do you guys remember what happened when Jesus in utero walks into the neighborhood with John in utero? Jumps for joy, flips, quickening they call it, moms, if you've ever had that happening. And if you're a dad and you see this thing, alien trying to punch out of your wife's belly, 
Yeah, that's, I don't know exactly he was doing karate kicks or what, but leaps for joy, yes. How could John bring people back to the Lord? Luke 1.16 Many of the people of Israel will he bring back to the Lord their God. We don't go into details for this, but you just heard a sermon on it. How does that happen? I give you a hint with the infographic. Good Lutheran theology. The first is, starts with an L, ends with a W. Law. And the other one? Gospel. That's right. Yeah. You show people their sins, and then you show people that they're Savior. You could do this simply. Romans 3, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. You could do this any number of ways. You don't need to quote Scripture. I'm a big fan of that. But um, you could just say, you're a sinner. Jesus died for you. You communicate the same scriptural truth. And the Spirit uses it. It's beautiful. Number seven, why didn't Zechariah be, believe the angel? This is a bad business decision for Zechariah, by the way. Uh, Luke 1.18. Zechariah asked the angel, How can I be sure of this? I am an old man, and my wife is well on in years. <laughs> well, Zechariah is not a doctor, but what did he figure out after decades and decades? It's not going to happen, buddy. And now you're telling me, angelic being, that this is going to happen? You expect me to believe this? Eh, well, yep. Let's see what Gabriel says. The angel answered, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not able to speak until the day this happens, because you did not believe my words, which will come true at their proper time. <laughs> so, who's this guy? This is one of the few named angels we have in Scripture. This is Gabe. Yeah, this is Gabriel. He stands before God, and I'm just the messenger, buddy. Hate to break it to you, because you didn't believe me, you don't get to talk. Oh, it's going to happen. But until then, you don't get to talk to anybody. So, I think God was nice to him. Worst things have happened when angels meet mortals. So, yeah. Any, any questions on the angelic announcement of John the Baptist? It's a pretty good one. We don't have time to get all through all the uh, Advent texts, so it's kind of fun to be able to do those. Say this prayer with me, please. Lord Jesus, prepare a place in my heart as your home. Help me to use these days before Christmas to prepare for the celebration of your birth. Chase away temptation and sin. Free me from my guilt. Amen. There are no other announcements. May God give you all a blessed week.